What's up guys? For today's video, I'm installing vinyl registration numbers on the John Boat. You guys voted on which font style to go with. Number six wound up being the highest voted one. I wound up editing the font a little bit before cutting it. Came out really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this applied right now. And then we'll be water legal to get out in the water today. All right, so if you guys never installed a vinyl decal before, the process is pretty simple. You gotta prep your surface. You gotta prep your decal, and then you gotta apply the decal. So first step is gonna be prepping the area. We're gonna be putting the decal. In this case, we're doing registration numbers, and the legal place to put your registration is in the front half of the boat. I sized mine to go right along under the rivets. This is about 30 inches. I sized mine to be about 24 inches, so this will fit this area nicely. First thing I'm gonna do is wipe down this area with some rubbing alcohol. When applying the decal, the main thing you're trying to accomplish by prepping your surface is not necessarily the dirt, which is important to remove, but it's mainly for getting off any oils. You can't have things like armor all or maybe like a spray wax or something like that. Anything oil-based that could interfere with the adhesive on the decal. Decals come in three layers. The vinyl itself is sandwiched between the paper backing and a clear transfer tape that actually lifts the vinyl off the backing and then allows you to transfer it to your surface and then the clear tape peels back off, leaving only the vinyl behind. In order to get a good peel using your transfer tape, you wanna make sure that it is pressed down on top of your vinyl. So if you see where I push with my finger, how it turns a darker black, that's because that's really adhering to the vinyl itself. Up here, it's like white. If you rub it, you can see it grabs onto the vinyl really well. So the first step is you wanna prep your whole decal by rubbing on all of the vinyl spots so your transfer tape will stick to the vinyl. So you can start by pulling your transfer tape layer. Transfer tape adhesive is pressure activated. So if you have a spot that doesn't come up, you just lay it back down, press firmly on the area, and then peel it again and it should come up for you. This was fresh, I cut this this morning. I also sell these on our Etsy store if anyone was interested in getting them. I'm just gonna peel the vinyl off the backing. And the nice thing about having a, a clear or opaque transfer tape is that you can really position it and see how it's gonna look before you apply it. I'm gonna use this first rivet, which is part of the bench seat here, as a guide to make sure they're both in the same spot on each side of the boat. All right, so with everything lined up, the next step is to actually apply the vinyl portion to your surface. So to do that with everything in place, you're just gonna rub it so it pushes down onto the surface. Follow the contours of each section of the vinyl. Don't worry about pushing the whole thing down. You're only trying to adhere the vinyl itself. The transfer tape may, might bubble up and fold and everything. That doesn't matter. It's only the vinyl that matters to get applied correctly. Just using your thumb, if you have a credit card or a squeegee, anything like that'll work. But just rub the vinyl portion. See how it's bubbled in the middle? No problem at all. You're only trying to do the vinyl. Now, this is the most important part. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back at a sharp angle. Hold it in place while you pull. The key is to do sharp angles because you're not trying to lift this back off the surface. Vinyl is very thin, but if you just work it, it'll all lay nice. All right, and last but not least, we got to apply our registration expiration date. This goes in front of the numbers. All right, and if all goes well with your decal, you shouldn't have many bubbles, if any. If you do end up having bubbles, those will bake out in the sun for the most part. If you have a stubborn bubble that just won't come up, you can easily fix that with a pin. Just literally pop the bubble and push it down and the vinyl is almost self-healing in the way that it, it hides the hole. I went with a matte black color. I prefer that over glossy. I think it looks really nice against the boat. And there you have it. We're water legal. We're ready to go. All right, if you guys found this helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.